Hello there, host of the Mega Kid that is all right. Today, I'm just gonna introduce a very interesting recipe that was taught to me in 2022 back then by Neji San, who anyone who know very well is one of my followers, subscriber, or whatever you want to call her. Uh, and the one thing I would definitely say is that she is uh, a cosplayer in Thailand. So, if you do want to know, I will put up um, the link to her face put in the description below. So, if you guys are interested, you can go and check her out. Um, one of the interesting recipe that I was taught by her is that apparently if you mix uh, spicy or maybe tom yum soup noodle with ice cream apparently I mean like if you look at it I mean some people are like oh that's a monstrous city I know some people think of that way I have tried it <laughs> I know this might come as a uh, some people might rub it uh right off at what monstrosity that I know there will be some chefs that hey, that is crazy that's not uh it shouldn't be a thing. I actually tried by actually uh mix I wasn't able to get tom yum at the time when I was living in Japan. So basically, I got the ice cream with a spicy noodle uh, with the spicy soup base, and I actually cook it and add the ice cream to it at the end. Uh, basically, what you want to do is that when you have a tom yum soup noodle or spicy noodle and you add ice cream at the end, so basically you add the ice cream at the end, um, it's kind of interesting that in a way, it, you can just basically add a a, a full cream to it. I, I think a normal cream or full cream is more than enough to have uh, the, the the noodle, which is kind of like a little bit of spicy yet creamy noodle along the line. And it actually tastes interesting and nice, at least in my opinion. But if you are like lot of intolerant or whatever, I don't think this is a, a record, or even if you don't like spicy food, I don't think this is a recipe for you. Uh, but then again, at the end of the day, uh, if you do like a little bit of ice cream and you want to have uh, a little bit of like sweet and spicy or spicy noodle along the line and you don't want to eat too spicy, maybe add, consider adding the ice cream to it. It actually helps to dam the, uh, the spiciness, but at the same time, it still tastes delicious. I mean, uh, in a sense, it's kind of funny that I, all you need to do is just basically add cream to the noodle and that's all. Uh, it's like, add, but the thing is, right, well, a lot of people is not aware is that ice cream have a little bit of sweetness to it. So when you're eating ice cream, it, you are eating sugar and uh, cream in a way, or maybe some milk in a way. So it's kind of like a little bit of sweet and creamy at the same time. So I think I think ice cream does have that effect because sometimes when you add sugar and cream to a spicy food, it actually tastes very interesting and nice. I mean, like some people will say that it's not a recipe, but apparently it is a recipe. Uh, when you mix a little bit of sugar with some sp uh, spicy food, it helps to not making it too spicy apparently. But again, uh, I've never tried it myself, so I can't give my full take on that. But then again, um, I think the sugar and cream does seem to make it uh at the time i still recall that it wasn't that spicy but it's kind of uh, in it's interesting that the the creaminess of the noodle that come after seem um it's something that i seem to like it more than anything but then again uh it is a recipe that i would definitely say that is um nice maybe to some people but then again if you do like it good for you but if you don't like it i can understand because normally some people say like why not just eat the noodle and eat the ice cream afterwards um in this case it's really kind of interesting that um at least for my take is that you mix an ice cream immediately to the hot and spicy or maybe tom yum no uh, soup noodle along, uh, soup noodle along the line and when you this is like hmm you a little bit of like for the tom yum, I've, I'm uh I'm actually inclined to try, but I've not tried it ever since. Yeah, I've been using like spicy noodle as the base, um, as a soup base, and adding ice cream to it. I'm not saying I like, do it every single time. It's only when I'm gets when I manage to get my hand on some ice cream and I feel like a little bit of wanting to do something stupid along the line. If you want to, if that is how you want to seal it, or if or maybe you, uh, when I feel like I do not want my noodle to be too spicy. So in the case, let's say for example, if I eat like spicy food, uh, normally I would, in order to make the food less spicy, I would add a little bit of cream to it. I would maybe add a little bit of cheese, egg or whatever that is. As, is, as long as it's helped to reduce the spicy or maybe like put a coating of uh, whatsoever on the noodle so that when I taste it, I will at least enjoy the food, but not 
uh, suffering from the spiciness food. I mean, like, it's kind of interesting that a lot of people will say that, oh, you're from the Southeast Asia, you're ASEAN, you should be eating, able to eat spicy food. Um, the thing is, right, while there are some people who is able to take in spicy food, I am not one of them. Just because sometimes when I love to eat some spicy food, doesn't mean that I can just take spicy food on its own. I mean, like, if it's like we in, um, like normally if it, like we say like there is the mild version there is the medium version there is the spicy version often more than not if uh, if you live in japan long enough or if you live in uh, southeast asia normally i think a little bit of chili doesn't make the food that spicy hot it's normally in the flavor food sense or maybe it's just in on the model side so i have lived in japan for six years so obviously when i when most of the restaurant when they say oh it's very very spicy when i try it wasn't as it's maybe to some people they may say it's spicy to, but if, if you do like spicy food and you try it and you say oh man it's all right i mean like good, good for you but um i have tried a lot of spicy food in japan that claim to be the maximum spicy um some claim the maximum spicy is the spicier when i try it it's spicy but not that i can't handle but there are also very very spicy noodle in japan that once i bite it into it i was like hell i need ice cream immediately or hell i need milk or water or ice cream or whatever to toss away that spice that is stuck on my throat or my mouth or whatever you want to call it so it's, it's something that anyone who always tend to see me doing spicy food uh street live stream along the line they will immediately know that if it's like within a marginable spicy they will they will just say that oh i'll be just eating it normally but when you are giving me like spiciness that i can't bear that is when i will definitely be having a lot of noise or sassy sound or whatever you want to call it and that is when i i draw the line and normally when i know that food is very very spicy and i have leftover of it uh, normally what i would do is just basically yes I, I might end up adding ice cream to it or cream or milk or whatever to then that or filter or whatever you want to call it to make it less spicy so after neji san taught me this recipe i've been using that mostly on most uh like adding ice cream to most of my spicy noodles to at least make it less spicier but i, I mean like it's really better at least on my end because uh if i really want to and uh, build up my uh, my tolerance to spicy food adding, adding a little bit of it and slowly letting me to get used to the taste like my body get used to the flavor and slowly reducing the amount of cream to it and when I'm able to eat it as per normal, that's good. But then again, um, this is just only in a way, I know some people will say, hey, cream and spicy food does not go together. Yes, understandable. I'm not saying that everyone should follow this recipe. But at the end of the day, it still depends on whether you want to follow it or not. It's just a recipe that was taught to me by a Thai people. And I just here to share it to you guys. I mean, like, this is just all... Uh, a random chat you can take it with a huge spin also and throw the side of the screen if you need to but then again if you do have your own recipe if you have your own uh take or whatever you and or if you have tried this and you do like it or you don't recommend it write in the comment below we can discuss it further do that don't forget to press the like button if you do like this video and remember to subscribe for more in the chat do understand that i do not talk about food every single time in my live stream or video or random chat or whatever you want to call it but then again who knows but the only thing i do know that i hope you guys have a nice day all right bye